How do I implement ESOIC? If you want to grow your access revenue, ESOIC is a solution. In fact, with my ASIO community, so that earnings that I'll show you later on this video in my first website with my second one in ESOIC, they started to migrate from AdSense to ESOIC. What's up ACOs? This is Spider ACO from RockACOs.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you the exact process that I use on how to set up ESOIC step by step so you can get the highest earnings from Google. First, click on the link in the description below to access this page. Then click on Get Started. To start the process of creating your ESOI account, you will need to choose one of these two options. Some time ago, it was a requirement to have a minimum of 10,000 organic visits per month to join the ESOI platform. But fortunately, that is no longer the case today thanks to the Access Now program. However, I will still assume that your website receives at least 10,000 visits per month. So let's continue by clicking on Get Started. The next thing you want to do is enter and confirm your email address followed by the domain name or website you want to monetize with ESOIC. Since my website is already signed up with ESOIC, I will see this message. But once your ESOIC account dashboard is ready to go, you can proceed to complete your account information, such as your name, your address, your company, etc. The next step is the ESOIC integration. There are two different ways to integrate ESOIC with your site. You can integrate ESOIC to the WordPress plugin, which I don't recommend as it tends to slow down your site. Or you can integrate your site through the domain name servers provided by ESOIC, which is my favorite way because it's free. Your site will have a free CDN from ESOIC, which makes your website look faster for users. And finally, it increases revenue. Once you have finished the ESOIC DNS integration, it may take up to 72 hours for the domain name servers to propagate. But in the meantime, let's continue with the other missing settings. The next step is to apply for the Google Ad Exchange. By adding your email address in this section, you will receive an invitation in your email to fill out a form. After filling out and submitting the form with your data, the Ad Exchange review process can take between 24 and 48 hours. And as long as your domain has not been previously banned by Google, you will get an approved status as you can see on the screen. Our next step is to set up ESOIC placeholders for our site. Note that ESOIC's AI needs enough placeholders on your site in order to better optimize the ads based on the profile of each user visiting your site. That's why it is recommended to initially place a minimum of 10 ESOIC placeholders. And by the way, I know what you are probably thinking. It sounds like a lot of ads for my site, right? Well, the good news is that ESOIC will not display that many ads. In fact, ESOIC's AI, together with its team of engineers, will make sure that only a certain amount of ads will be shown to ensure best ads for users based on each user profile, better user experience, and both combined will generate more ad revenues. Now let's click on Get Started, and you will find that you can set up ESOIC placeholders through the WordPress plugin, but I prefer using the ESOIC Chrome extension. Just make sure you are not logging into WordPress, but are logging into your ESOIC account. Next, to start setting up your first ESOIC placeholder, click on the ESOIC Chrome extension. Continue by clicking on Create, then select Location, and now it's time to click on the location of your first placeholder. I will select the page title. And as you can see, you can choose if you want the location of your placeholder above or below the selected page element. Click on Insert here. As long as your site has a sidebar, select some of the available positions for the sidebar. I will select on the page title. Next, start activating all ad formats and the devices on which they will be displayed. But avoid activating ads in vertical design as long as your site is not using a sidebar and activate ads in billboard format. In the Pages section, make sure that automatically detect similar pages is selected. This way, you won't need to add ESOIC placeholders page by page or post by post. In the Style section, I'm going to leave it as default, then click on Save, and we have our first placeholder created in our site. Next, continue by creating the other missing placeholders. This time, I will place one under the first paragraph Repeat the process of activating the ad formats and devices, the same thing for under the second paragraph, and repeat by adding placeholders in positions such as in content 1, in content 2, in content 3, 
and so on to complete the minimum of 10 placeholders. Next, set up the entries for Ezoic and Google AdSense in your AskDXD Manager account. So head over to AskDXDManager.com to create your account and enter your domain name to start the process. The next thing you need to do is to head over to the Sellers tab and start searching for the Ezoic seller. Then click on Authorize. Now it is time to search for Google AdSense seller. Click on Authorize and now create the entry for Google AdSense by entering the ad network domain which is google.com as you need your adsense account id head over your google adsense account information section now you only need to copy and paste the adsense account id right into your ad network account id section of the adsense entry leave the account type as direct and finally you can optionally add the certification authority id which will look something like this now you can see there's an entry for AdSense, but if we refresh the browser, then guys, as you can see, there are 967 entries for Ezoic. Finally, search for the AskDXT Manager account ID, go back to your Ezoic dashboard, head over to the monetization section, scroll down to find the Ask.txt Manager section, click on Turn On, Manual Setup, click on Next, Paste your AskTXT Manager ID, click on Save, On and Verify, and finally, you are done with your Ask.txt Manager settings. The next step is to turn on Ezoic for all devices. Leave it as 90% initially to compare Ezoic earnings versus Google AdSense earnings within the first month, and you will see the big difference on how Ezoic is better than AdSense in terms of ad revenue. After the first month, set it up to 100% and you will get surprised on how your ad revenues will increase within the 3 months thanks to Ezoic's AI. Next, you need to wait for the Ezoic's quality team to review your site, which can take up to 10 business days. Avoid removing the Ezoic integration done so far as you will only delay the approval process of your site. Next, head over to the monetization section to link your AdSense account to an invitation that you will receive with the link you see on the screen. This way, you will have access to the AdSense Certified Partner Program, and this will improve the optimization process of Ezoic ads on your site. Continue by importing the historical data from your AdSense account so the Ezoic AI be able to speed up the optimization process. Next, it is time to enable AdSense mediation in the monetization section so that AdSense and Ezoic compete to increase your earnings. You can use the default data from your AdSense account and finally, for the seller JSON, make sure to add either your full name or your company name. Next, head over to the speed section to set up the Ezoic Cloud Caching System and think of it as your new caching system to create cash for the entire site or for a single URL every time you make any update on your site. To take better advantage of Ezoic CDN and speed up your site, make sure to enable caching for cookies and the same for override cache control headers. And last but not least, go to the speed tab on Ezoic to activate Leap. Leap is a free web performance optimization tool provided by Ezoic which will let you know what plugins or technologies are affecting the performance of your site. As you can see on my screen, Leap warns me that the out-optimized plugin active on my site conflicts with Ezoic's caching and speed technologies, so I take this opportunity to warn you that from now on, you must disable all caching plugins on your site, as we have already enabled the Ezoic CDN system. If you are new using Leap, you can let the Ezoic team to set it up for your site, or you can do it by your own. I will show you how you can optimize your site with Leap to pass the core web vitals in the next tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if you have any question or send a message on my WhatsApp community. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to rock the like share and subscribe to the channel. 